This snippet is Working with States in Sketchflow. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to simulate visual state changes within an application by using Sketchflow's States panel. In order to get started, you're going to want to open the project file Snowboard Online. Once you open that, you'll want to double click on the binding screen in order to see the screen here. First, a word about the challenge of application states. In traditional wireframes or sketches, it's very hard to illustrate the behavior of a state such as an animation. In Sketchflow, you can demonstrate the appearance of states by recording them in the states panel. So what you'll be doing here is creating a state in which the user clicks on this button, and this will then trigger a live chat window to appear. Within the Sketchflow map, we have a live chat component. We're going to go ahead and click and drag this on top of the bindings screen. Once we do that, our live chat window appears here on the left. And we'll go ahead and click and drag this and place it right above our button. Now, the important thing about states is that you often need to create the default state before you do anything else. It's not always necessary, but it's usually a good idea. So because we want our chat window to be hidden when the user first comes to the page, let's go over to the appearance panel. And here we can see an opacity value. Let's go ahead and change this from 100 to 0 and then press return. What this will do is reduce the opacity of our chat window to zero, or invisible. Now, you'll want to choose Window, States, if it's not currently open, and this will give us access to the States panel. What we're now going to do is create what's called a State Group. This will be a combination of different states that will then be recorded. So the first thing we need to do is add the State Group by clicking this icon here. And now we need to name our State Group. Let's go ahead and name this chat appear. Once we create a state group, and you can have many state groups within a Sketchflow project, we now want to create the next piece, which is the state itself. So let's click on this icon, Add State. Once we add the state, the state recording is on, as represented by this red border. Now in this instance, we're simply going to rename the state default. And now we need to create the next state. So let's go ahead and click the Add State button again. And we now get a new state. Let's go ahead and name this Chat Appear On. Because what we'd like to do is record the state in which the chat window is on. So now let's go back over to that Properties panel. Click once inside that Opacity field and type 100, and then Return and this brings the opacity to 100. Now within the States panel, we can preview the appearance of this by clicking the default state, and our chat window disappears, and then the chat appear on state, and then it appears. Let's go ahead and choose Project, Run Project. Once the Sketchflow player appears, go ahead and click on Welcome, and then go ahead and click on Bindings. Now in addition to navigating to a new screen, Whenever you create a state, you can actually navigate to that state using the Navigate panel. So here we have the chat appear default. Of course, nothing's going to happen because the default is invisible. But when we click on chat appear on, this comes on. So in this way, you can demonstrate the way a state works simply by clicking on them within the Navigate panel. Let's go ahead and close the player. And let's take it to the next level here. We can also create transitions with states. So perhaps we'd like that chat appear to not be a pop on and off, but a fade in. Well, if we go up to the chat appear state group, you'll see that there's a field called transition duration. Let's go ahead and click within that once, and then type 1, and then press return. So what this will do is create a default transition between the default state and the appear state. Let's go ahead and choose project run project. Once again, click on Welcome, and then Bindings. And now, again, click on Chat Appear Default, which nothing will happen, and then Chat Appear On, and we'll see our fade in. Now you can actually create multiple states and have multiple transitions. However, let's go ahead and close the Sketchflow player, because the next thing we'd like to do is actually activate that state using this button down at the bottom. 
Now before we do that, let's go ahead and turn off the recording. We can do that by going into the States panel and clicking on this top line here labeled Base. So Base in many ways is the default screen. Now, let's go ahead and right click on the button at the very bottom of the screen. In the context menu that appears, choose Activate State. Now the state that we'd like to activate when a user clicks on the button is this one, Chat Appear On. And one more time, let's go ahead and test this by choosing Project, Run Project. Again, click on Welcome, and then Bindings, and then go ahead and click on your button, and this will activate the Chat Appear On state. Now the benefit of this, of course, is that a client or a team member could easily use the button here. At the same time, they can also demonstrate that state by clicking on them within the Navigate panel. So in this snippet, you learned how to simulate a visual state change using Sketchflow States panel. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.